Chapter 8 Means of Transport Get Set Talk to your parents and find out the fare or expense of your nearest town or city if you travel by bus, by train, by any private means of transport. We use different means of transport to move from one place to another. The choice for the transport depends on the distance to travel, fare, etc. For example, we take a bus, car, or train if we have to travel long distances, otherwise a scooter, cycle, or rickshaw are the best choices for short distances. We transport goods, supplies, etc. by trucks, lorry, or ships. Long, long ago, the early people could travel only on foot. They had to carry loads themselves. Then they started using animals to transport themselves and their goods. The invention of wheel revolutionized transport. People started moving and carrying loads on carts fitted with wheels. These were pulled by people or animals. The second revolution came with the invention of the steam engine. Thomas Newcomen made the first practical steam engine in 1712 in which James Watt made a critical improvement in 1764. Later in 1769, he made another major improvement in it by using separate condenser. The first train pulled by a steam engine was built about 200 years ago. At about the same time, ships using steam engines were made. It now became possible to transport heavier loads much faster. Modern transport with time, the steam engines were replaced by more efficient engines that used petrol, diesel and electricity. These engines are now used to run various types of vehicles on land, sea and air. They travel much faster and carry much more load than the earlier vehicles. Types of Modern Transport The means of transport can be broadly divided into three types. Means of Land Transport Means of water transport, means of air transport, means of land transport. All those vehicles that move on land like scooters, cars, trucks, etc. are included in land transport. But land transport can be subdivided in two more types, roadways and railways. Roadways Roads are important for transport of goods and passengers for short and medium distances. Different types of vehicles are used for different distances. Scooters, bikes, auto rickshaws, etc. are used for short distances, while cars, buses and trucks are used for covering long distances. Roadways are relatively cheap and convenient, both in construction and maintenance. Roads are built even in mountainous terrain. They connect fields with markets, factories with farms, and provide door-to-door -door service for transport of perishable commodities. Roads provide much better services. Roadways act as a feeder to other modes of transport as they provide a link between railway stations, air and seaports. All states of a country are connected to each other by roads and highways. These highways are well constructed and buses are the main carrier for travellers whereas for carrying raw materials and finished goods from factories to markets, trucks are most useful. A good network of roads is essential for every country to achieve progress. With time, traffic has intensified in all places. To ease traffic at crossings and busy roads, flyovers, footover bridges and subways have been built. Flyovers are often built over railway crossings road squares, busy markets and other roads so that speedy traffic can run smoothly. A flyover, an expressway. Highways A highway normally connects major cities. It is an important, broad and long road. It can be state highway or national highway. A state highway connects the cities within a state while a national highway connects major cities of the country. Mostly, a national highway has four or more lanes. Now we can find highways having as many as 16 lane, 8 lane for going and 8 for coming. These are named differently in different places like freeways, expressways, etc. International Highways 
Mostly, highways connect cities within the country, but there are several major highways which connect different countries. The Pan American Highway connects Alaska in North America, Chile in South America, and the Burma China Road connects Burma and China. There are some very long roads in the world. For example, the Trans Canadian Highway stretches across Canada from the Pacific Ocean in the west to the Atlantic Ocean in the east, and the Australian Transcontinental Highway connects north of Australia to the south. Roadways in India India has a large network of roads, right from narrow, kacha roads to the fine, wide expressways. India's road network is the second largest in the world. All towns and cities in India are connected by roads. Some of our roads connect India to its neighboring countries like Pakistan, Afghanistan, Nepal, Bhutan, China, and Bangladesh. The Sher Shah Suri Marg, earlier known as Grand Trunk Road, connects Kolkata to Peshawar in Pakistan. This road further goes to Afghanistan. The Indo Tibet Road connects Tibet to India and further to China. We also have other roads connecting Bangladesh, Bhutan and Burma too. The total length of Indian road network is over 43.20 lakh kilometers. It mainly consists of expressways that is 1000 kilometers, national ways that is 79243 kilometers and state highways that is 1 lakh 31000 899 kilometers. Other roads include district roads and rural roads. Here are some important roads in India. The Golden Kadri Lateral is 5,846 km long and connects the four major metropolitan cities of Mumbai, Chennai, Delhi and Kolkata. The East-West Corridor and North-South Corridor connect extreme parts of India. The NH7 Varanasi to Kanyakumari is the longest highway in India, with a total length of 4,572 kilometers. The best expressway is called the 95-kilometer-long Ahmedabad Vadodara Expressway. Bandra Worli Sea Link Chirpi says, the longest river road bridge in India is the Bhupain Hazarika Bridge over the Lohit River in Assam. The longest over bridge is located in Kanpur and measures 23 kilometers. The longest sea bridge is the Bandra Worli Sea Link in Mumbai. Despite such a large network of roads, India is reeling under the increasing pressure of traffic. Increasing traffic has led to a number of problems. Two important problems are pollution and accidents. Pollution from vehicles is a serious problem, resulting in different types of diseases, including breathing disorders, asthma and bronchitis. Vehicles also cause sound pollution. The level of pollution increases when vehicles are not well maintained. Increasing traffic on roads has led to reckless driving, which causes accidents. Poor quality of roads is also responsible for many accidents. A very large number of people die or lose limbs in accidents every year. Pollution from vehicles A road accident Railways In most countries, trains are the most important means of transport for people and goods. They can efficiently move a large number of people over long distances. They are also useful for moving goods from one place to another. In all countries of the world, all major cities are connected with railways. Even some countries are also connected by railway. Today, India has the largest railway network in Asia and fourth largest in the world. The railway was first introduced in Britain in 1820. Europe and North America have the densest railway networks in the world. Belgium has the greatest railway density in Europe. Metro is the latest and improved railway system which is most comfortable. A steam engine an electric engine, a diesel engine. There are a number of long railways in the world. The longest of them include the transcontinental railways in America and Canada, which join many cities of the West Coast to those of the East Coast. In Europe, 
the Grand Orient Express operates between Paris in France and Istanbul in Turkey through several countries along the route. In Asia, the Trans-Siberian Railway is the longest railway running from St. Petersburg in the west to Vladivostok in the east. So far as rapid railway systems are concerned, many countries are running very fast trains. China operates the fastest train which runs at 430 km per hour. The other countries to operate very fast trains include Japan, France, Spain and other countries. Many European cities like London, Paris and Moscow have a fine system of underground railways called tube train. Railways in India The railway in India is operated by the Indian Railways. There is an extensive network of railways in our country. It is difficult to relay railway in hills and deserts, but in India, we have connected several of hilly and desert towns. The total length of railway in India is about 69,182 kilometers. The length of electrified railway in India is over 11,000 kilometers, second only to Russia in the world. So far as passenger trains are concerned, India operates both slow passenger trains to fast mail and express trains. The fastest trains in India include the Gatiman Express, 160 km per hour, Bhopal Shatabdi, 140 km per hour, Mumbai Rajthani, 140 km per hour, Dwande Bharat Express, 130 km per hour, among others. India is expanding its metro rail network to many cities. It is already operational in many cities including Kolkata, Delhi, Bangalore, Mumbai, Jaipur, Kochi, Lucknow and other cities. The monorail is operational in Mumbai. To carry goods, India has a large network of goods trains. Now it is building a dedicated freight corridor to carry goods exclusively. Metro rail in Delhi. Monorail in Mumbai. Chirpi says, in India, the first railway train ran between Bombay and Thane about 150 years ago in 1853. Waterways The early people made rafts to carry goods over the water as soon as they realized that wood flowed on the water. Rafts were soon replaced with boats. These wooden boats were used for international trade between distant lands. With the invention of the steam engine, Water transport also underwent a revolution. Ships became larger and faster. Most bulky goods such as food grains, mineral ores and petroleum are transported around the world by ships as transport by ships is much cheaper than road or air transport. Today, most ships that carry goods are designed to carry only one type of goods. For example, refrigerated ships carry perishable products like meat, milk, fruits and flowers. Tankers are used for carrying oil. Cruise ships are used by people for sightseeing and picnic on the sea and coastal areas. Boats and harbours are built where ships can load, unload and store goods. The means of water transport can be divided into two types, inland waterways and sea routes. Inland waterways. Inland waterways mainly operate in rivers, lakes or lagoons. In India, they are not developed well, but effort is being made to develop inland waterways on an extensive scale. The Ganga, Brahmaputra and Godavari Krishna and their tributaries are navigable rivers. Backwaters or lagoons in Kerala too are widely used for water transport. Waterways are highly developed in Europe and America. They are very helpful when it is not possible to build roadways or railways. The rivers passing through dense forests are often used for it. Large rivers like the Amazon, Changjiang and Mississippi are extensively used as inland waterways. An oil tanker, a cargo ship, a luxury ship. Sea routes To make sea travel easier and faster, canal linking seas have been dug. They cut down the travel distance by almost half. The Suez Canal links the Mediterranean Sea with the Red Sea. Ships from India travelling to Europe now go through this canal. The Panama Canal links the Pacific Ocean with the Atlantic Ocean. 
ships going from Europe to Australia now go through the canal. A major portion of goods exported from India and imported in India are transported by ships. India is surrounded by seas on three sides. It has a long coastal line measuring 7,516.6 kilometers. There are 13 major and more than 180 minor seaports. Mumbai, Chennai, Kolkata, Vishakhapatnam and Cochin are most important of them. Mumbai is the busiest seaport in India. Chennai Seaport Airways The means of air transport are the latest. They brought to reality man's dream to fly like birds. The first successful aeroplane was built in 1903 by two American brothers, Wilbur Wright and Orwell Wright. In such a short period, air travel has become the most favorite the world over. There is an extensive network of air transport in the world today. Air travel first started in Britain, France and USA. At present, a variety of aeroplanes are used for air transport. Many of them can fly over very long distances at a speed more than that of sound. Aeroplanes are used for carrying both passengers as well as cargo. They save on time, but they are expensive as they need airports to take off and land and burn a large quantity of fuel. The densest network of airways is found in Western Europe and North America. London, Paris, Moscow, Tokyo, New York, Jeddah, New Delhi, etc. are major international airports in the world. The Atlanta airport is the busiest airport in terms of passenger traffic. There are a number of airlines in India such as Air India, Jet Airways, Go Air, Indigo, Spicejet, etc. Helicopter service is also operated in some parts of the country such as Pawan Hans. There are several international airports in India. The major ones of them are at Mumbai, New Delhi, Kolkata, Chennai, Amritsar and Thiruvananthapuram. In addition, there are over 100 minor airports in the country, while effort is being made to start airports in more cities. Think a while. Do means of transport impose any environmental hazard? Wright Brothers A Boeing airplane An airport Quick review the choice for the transport depends on the distance to travel, fare, etc. The invention of wheel revolutionized transport. Roadways are relatively cheap and convenient both in construction and maintenance. All states of a country are connected to each other by roads and highways. The Sher Shah Suri Marg, earlier known as Grand Trunk Road, connects Kolkata to Peshawar in Pakistan. Increasing traffic on roads has led to reckless driving which cause accidents. Railways can efficiently move a large number of people over long distances. The means of water transport are of two types, inland waterways and sea routes. The government airline in India is called Indian Airlines.